Hello, Android users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices. And uh, some of you may have been uh, watching my original video, my first video on the uh, Kindle Fire on how to uh, root and uh, use the Kindle Fire utility uh, to install the market onto your uh, Kindle Fire. Now, uh, we're going to take it a step further in this video. And so I do still have the uh, Kindle Fire utility running. This is a file that, uh, in case you didn't watch the original video, I downloaded this file and uh, put it into the uh, folder here. The drivers have been installed and now I'm going to hit run, at which point it gives me the ability to uh, install different things onto my device. Uh, as it stands right now, the device is uh, sitting on my table. It's plugged in via USB, and you have your traditional, you can now transfer files from your computer to your Kindle screen on there. Uh, you'll notice on my uh, computer here, ADB status means it says online, which means that the device is capable of communicating with the computer at this point. Uh, so far, we've done install permanent root, and we went into the extras. And I'll show you here briefly to install the Google Apps and the Go Launcher, and that allowed us to uh, do some things that the uh, Kindle Fire was not originally intended to do. Uh, we're going to take it a step further, and uh, we are going to install the latest twerp recovery, uh, TWRP, which is the Team Win Recovery Project. Uh, some of you may be familiar with Clockwork Recovery, and uh, twerp is the uh, more uh, comprehensive, in my opinion, and uh, touchscreen capable uh, recovery option. Now, obviously the Kindle does not have any buttons, uh, so having twerp be touchscreen recovery makes it so much more appealing to me. So I'm going to hit three, I'm going to hit enter, and uh, it's going to actually go out and download what it needs to download from the website. And uh, the Kindle Fire is now rebooting into what's called fast boot mode. And it looks like it is currently in the process of rebooting yet again. Okay, so the device has been completely rebooted. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the power button here at the bottom and I'm going to hit shut down. And uh, our goal here is to actually go into our uh, twerp uh, recovery now that we've installed it. So the device is completely off. I'm going to press and release the hold button once. And once the screen comes on, I'm going to hold it down and I'm holding down the power button. Now you'll notice at the bottom of the screen, it gives me the option. And as long as I'm holding down the power button, it's cycling through the different options. So what I actually want to end up doing, and I held it too long, I'll try it again, is I want it to stop at recovery. So I'm going to press the hold or press the power button again. And now I'm going to press and hold it. And it will start cycling through the bottom. And I'm going to stop in the middle where it says recovery. So it stops, it takes a little finesse to stop at the recovery. Again, the Kindle Fire only has uh, one button, so that one button has to be everything. And I think that it's actually rather genius how they decided to do this. Now in the past, I believe this uh, screen had some sort of yellow, um, uh, yellow uh, sort of triangle thing. But here we are in Twerp, and I'll tell you, if you're not familiar with Twerp, uh, it's a fantastic piece of software. Uh, it really gives you the ability to uh, do some amazing stuff. Um, go in and you can do install, and it is all touch sensitive and, and, and whatnot. So at this point, uh, now that I've got Twerp on the tablet, uh, there's really no need for me to have my computer at this point, uh, other than to just put files on my uh, on my uh, device here. I mean, the, the, the Kindle itself, you can go out and browse out to the internet and download ROMs, uh, or you can just go in here and, uh, you know, install them via USB onto the device and then install it that way. So I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go out to the computer uh, and download a, a zip file. Uh, I, I saw that uh, one of the developers that I know has been around for a while, uh, Energy, has made a ROM uh, for this device, and uh, I think I might actually just go get his and install it on here. Uh, so I'm going to go get that file, and I'm going to put it on this device, and then we'll uh, we'll watch it install. Okay, so I have uh, downloaded Energy's uh, June 23rd uh, CyanogenMod 9 
uh, ROM and I've put it on the root of my device. Now if I go into install, uh, you'll notice here it's listed. Uh, it's a uh, rather lengthy file name here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on him and uh, it's going to give me some options here. Uh, I usually just uh, kind of leave it be and then you swipe to confirm to flash. So I'm going to do that now here. Uh, this process, I would imagine, would take a little bit of time. Um, the nice thing about this is that it's going to be a nice little package. Uh, energy ROMs are typically uh, pretty comprehensive and, and, and all-encompassing. So I would imagine that once this is done, uh, this device will be ready to rock in terms of a uh, CM9 uh, tablet. That'll be a very nice uh, addition to this. Now again, I mean, the purpose of me doing this at this point is because, quite frankly, uh, I've had this tablet for a little while now. We actually have two because my daughter has one as well. And uh, I don't use it really for anything other than, than playing around. And uh, I know that I have a, uh, a Nexus 7 tablet on its way. And so it'd be nice to have uh, this device uh, running something a little bit more uh, on the performance side. So that way I can uh, compare it to the Nexus 7. Wipe cache and Dalvik always. I always do that after each time that I uh, do a full install. And I actually am going to go home and I'm going to go to wipe and I'm going to do a factory reset just to be on the safe side. Uh, I don't know what type of nonsense is on this tablet at this point. Uh, so I'm just going to give it a, a sporting chance and I'm just going to do a full reset here. All right. Looks like it's done. And, uh, okay, so I'm going to go home and do reboot and system, and off we go. So this will be my first reboot loading the uh, ROM from Energy. And you'll notice that the uh, Kindle Fire is a uh, normal boot screen here, at least so far. I am anticipating something new here. Aha, there we have it. So this is a uh, ice cream sandwich uh, boot animation that we've all probably seen before. Or who knows, maybe this is your first time seeing it. If so, uh, welcome to the club. So I have a feeling that this uh, initial boot here is probably going to take a little while. So I'm going to let it do its thing and I'll come back once it comes on. Okay, it appears that I am very much in the presence of a Kindle Fire running a Cyanogen Mod 9 ROM. Looks like everything uh, is running exactly as I would uh, expect it to. Very nice. Uh, so this is something that, you know, I mean, there's Play Store. Uh, you can go in and do your settings. It looks like... Uh, Looks like everything seems to be running exactly. And this is not in any way, shape, or form a, um, a review of this ROM or anything. I just wanted to show you uh, how to put this ROM on your device. So basically, you've just reinvented this with Ice Cream Sandwich and the full capabilities in terms of uh, Android. And uh, so your, your, your tablet can actually start off fresh and new. I'll go into the About tablet here, show you that I am running 4.0.4. Uh, so again, th this is basically my first video for the Kindle Fire was how to root it and how to put the market and whatnot on it. And if that's all you further you want to go, then great. This video shows you how to put uh, the twerp and then install a custom ROM. Uh, my next video will be, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put Jelly Bean on here and see what kind of uh, damage I can do with that. So this has been Reverend Kyle uh, showing you yet another step that you can take uh, with your Kindle Fire.